Metro is looking for a thief who targeted somebody playing Pokemon Go, and the confrontation led to a fight. 13 Action News reporter Parker Collins explains what happened. Lately, nights at Desert Breeze Park get really crowded. Most of them are here for one thing. This is like the mecca of the Pokemons. There's 15 different stops here and three different gyms. It's an amazing park. Um, and I've never felt a safety issue. Parks are really popular places for Pokemon Go players because of all the things you can find. Police say this can give criminals an easy target, like what happened overnight. Officers say a man was playing when someone snatched his phone. He chased the thief and then realized two others were chasing him. So he pulled a knife, two people were cut, and one went to the hospital. The thief got away. I don't come as much anymore. This is my second time, so I am aware of my surroundings so, because I am a bit scared. A lot of people have the same idea when it comes to Pokemon hunting at night. I come with a group of people, so I'm more safe. If I was more alone with a few people, then I'd be kind of scared. We figure that there's safety more in numbers than just if you were going to a quieter park where there's nobody around, less likely for you know people to see what's going on. That hasn't stopped the bad guys, though. This is the second time just this week Pokemon Go players have been hurt. Near Spring Mountain in Durango, Parker Collins, 13 Action News. Prosecutors have dropped.